welcome the two teams into this bright sunshine. Two teams in very contrasting form. Six wins in nine for Norwich since David Wagner came in to replace Dean Smith as the head coach here. And they had to start very much favourites here. And just before we get the match started, we're going to pay respects to Robert Chase, former Norwich chairman, who sadly passed away recently. Robert oversaw one of the most successful periods in the club's history, and our thoughts are with his friends and family at this time. Please join us for a moment's applause, which will begin with the referee's whistle. Gibson there. Tony Mowbray, the manager, on record as saying that mid-table finish, although they were projecting better for much of the campaign, would be a bonus for this young squad. Here's Jack Clark. Chance to run at Aarons. Shot on. It's fielded by Gunn. Very difficult to stop, but he comes in onto his favourite right side, Clark. Like Roberts, a teenager at Leeds when Tottenham paid £10 million for him, didn't quite work out for him there. I mentioned all the Sunderland injuries, eight senior players out, but they have been able to welcome back the USA international Lyndon Gooch to the substitutes bench after a couple of months out. Sarah. It's a well-timed run, and they're in here, it's Aarons! Beaten away by Patterson, players waiting for a cross, but Aarons was staring at an inviting target here. Clark getting very much caught out by the run from Max Aarons. Daniel Hernandez is one of those who can go back to Havana and not be recognised at all back home. Baseball, top sport in that part of the world. Here's Dan Ballard. Gellhart, a little bit of room to work in. This is Barr. Got his shot away! First goal for Sunderland. The 19-year-old French attacking midfield player who's got the job of the absent Amar Diallo, who's been so impressive, the Manchester United loanee this season. The bar stepping up to the plate. And after that good spell for Norwich, Sunderland make the first breakthrough. Gellhart with the pass. Still had work to do here, Bar. The drop of the shoulder. Grant Hadley didn't get close enough to the goal scorer. And Gunn given no chance. Well, isn't this what the championship's all about? A team right out of form, a team banging form. And it's the team that have been struggling to lead. Challenged by Clark. Has support here with Gellhart and Barr. Jack Clark. Header on by Neil. Flag stays down. Big chance for Gellhart. And he put it straight. And Angus got what a let off for Norwich. Well, you can 
see. And he can't believe he's missed. He's certainly onside, well onside. First touch out of his feet, off the chest. And the goal is gaping. Anywhere but there, and he scores. Guilty of diving in there on Hernandez. And stopped by Ballard. Nice touch from Gelhart. There's the goal scorer, Bar. Looking for another. Second half beginning. Very much in the vein of the first 45 minutes or so. You attack, we attack. Stretched here, Norwich. Clark trying to feed that into the corner. A vital interception sends the ball spinning out for the corner. Big chance here. Barr wins that really well. Certainly onside, Clark. Seen him score so many goals this season coming in off that left flank, but Hanley got a deflection to it and it was vital. Roberts for the corner, away by McLean, back in by Clark! Until ricocheting off, Gelhart came at him so quickly, he had little time to react. Driven beautifully by Clark, catches this right off the sweet spot. Beaten away by Gunn, Gelhart unable to take advantage. This would be a huge three points for Tony Mowbray and his young squad. After those three successive defeats, this is the start, on paper at least, of a very tough sequence of fixtures. Next up for Sunderland, second in the table, Sheffield United at home, then Luton at home, who've won ten times on the road this season, then they go to Burnley, the runaway league leaders, couldn't be tougher. In by Pukki! Well, he back himself with the technique there from that position, Temu Puki, but put it straight down the throat of Anthony Patterson. By Puki standards, this is a good chance. Away by Hume, but only partially. That's a foul by Sarah, and surely that will do the job for Sunderland. pressure from Norwich, not enough craft, and you have to credit Sunderland defensively, it's not been about the back four either, it's been the team as a whole for plugging the gaps, it's been a rear guard action, and sometimes that's what you need to do when you're on a bad run, show the mentality, it's either going to be a change in personnel formation or that extra mentality, Sunderland have found it today, big win for Tony Mowbray and his young squad, senior players out, six of whom would surely have started today. A remarkable result when you consider the recent form of the two teams. Abdullah Bar's lone first-half goal, his first in Sunderland colours the difference. Norwich would have bet themselves to score in the second half with that heavy pressure. But Bar, Ballard and the rest stood strong. And they know what a big three points this is. And Sunderland stay very much in the picture for promotion. Both teams currently outside the top six, but both with hopes. With difficult fixtures ahead for both, of advancing further this season, perhaps to Premier League football next term. Full-time at Carroll Road, Norwich City nil, Sunderland 1.